name's Dave Smith. David Bailey is doing the recording this morning. And what we want to do is show you a tool to help to keep your bees living good, being strong. There's 24 hives here. I've been very blessed starting in April of 2013. They started out of four hives. We've been able to expand to these. Been blessed not to have any losses. I never forget when I read the first book on beekeeping. The guy said, how do we call ourselves beekeepers if we keep losing bees? And so that stuck with me, and I've tried my best to find ways to keep my bees alive. And uh, what we're going to show you today is a tool. Bees are livestock. See all these goats and chickens? Bees are just like goats and chickens. You need to keep parasites out of them. They need to have plenty to eat, good nutrition, a dry place to live, a warm place. And so that's the way I treat my bees. And uh, today we're going to show you, David here, myself, we make candy boards and, and a quilt box. The candy board to feed the bees, take the moisture out, quilt box, remove the moisture. It's about, we'll show you on the uh, thing, it's about, it's under 30 degrees here. We're going to go into a, show you the top of a hive. Everyone, every book you read tells you that the bees are clustered at this temperature. But because of these, what we're using on this hive, they're not. And you'll get to see it. Come on down. We're so on, the, on the bottom of this hive, we have a, a screen bottom board. It's three medium. On top of that is a candy board. We make the candy and uh, to soak up moisture and feed the bee. And on top of that is what we call the Bailey Bee Quilt Box. It's working beautifully. And then on top of that, we use the, uh, the Bee Smart uh, top, which is well ventilated. Right here we'll show you. When you take the top off this hive, day like today, it's about 30 degrees. I don't know if the camera show it. You can see the slickness. All that water right there. Water is the worst. There's one a little bit of ice right oh, there. Yeah. That's right, and this is a good sign. Ice up here shows you that it, this this insulation is working. Because if the insulation wasn't working, there wouldn't be no ice. Because all the heat would be melting that ice. So the the more ice you see here, the better it is. Now he puts this nice box. We put burlap in here. Now this. This will get, it's, it's soaking wet on top. I don't know if you can see, it's real wet. You get down in here, it's dry. But if you can see, here we'll show you the difference. Let's see, let me get some of this wet. See how, how dark that is? That's wet, that's dry, that's the bottom. The heat from this high is pushing that up. Now everyone tells you, all your bee books, most of them, they tell you, you put your, you put your, your, uh, inner cover and then in the winter time you have to leave gaps so the moisture don't drip down on the bees so it's, it's a lot like heating your house with the windows down you got gaps here you got to put holes everything so the moisture don't drop on them when this no gaps at all the only thing that ventilates this high is this quilt box now you think them bees in there happy and dry this morning let's see If you can't see them good, you can definitely hear them. And they ain't hear them now. <laughs> them bees is happy. And they're dry. And they're in good shape. And that quilt, they have eaten this candy. You're not going to be able to see the candy. But they have eaten it down to, it's just beautiful. Because this, this, it, this, the type of board we're using here, it lets it ventilates so well. Now I I've got before we got into this venture, I make mine out of two befores. But the problem is, it doesn't ventilate around them edges. But with this this setup, it's beautiful. Beautiful. These hives are still heavy with honey because very little has been used. When you use this, you don't have to worry about running out of uh, of store. And what we'll do, Lord willing, for too long, we'll intermingle the, the empties from the bottom with the store uh, so it keeps them from swarming. But uh, if, 
this this works beautiful. And uh, I appreciate you taking time to listen today, and hope hope you like what you see.